Sorry I'm late. You're 40 minutes late. What happened? I got held up. Do you mind if I heat this muffin up? No. What? What is the problem? Well, you said you're going to be here a certain time, and you weren't. Uh-huh, uh-huh. And this all means, uh, what? Well, it means that a man has come from very far away to compete in a very difficult race. He's put his faith in you, and frankly, I'm a little concerned. Oh, are you? Yes, I am. Uh -huh. Hey, I'm not running in the marathon. He is. Yeah, I know that. Yeah, I got enough to think about just trying to come up with some load of crap for that Himalayan walking shoe. I mean, I've given him a place to stay. I'll set an alarm, but I'm not going to turn my life completely upside down for this guy. I'm not talking about upside down. Uh, I'm talking about waking him up. Here's Jean-Paul. Hey, Jean-Paul, how was your soak? Was it good soak? Oh, man, very good soak. The soak of the year. <laughs> What's burnt? Oh, What happened? Oh, I don't know. I set this thing for 20 seconds. Oh, this was set for two minutes, see? <laughs> don't say anything. Don't say anything. You misset the timer. <laughs> Jean-Paul, it's not my microwave, okay? Okay? All right, listen. Let's just go. Come on, Jean-Paul. Let's go. Let's go. Okay. All right. We'll see you at the race, okay? Yeah, I hope so. Oh, that's cute. <laughs> Kramer, I'm telling you, Elaine doesn't know what the hell she's doing. We gotta take over this whole operation. Jerry, look how tense you are. You need to take a soak. I'm not taking a soak in that human bacteria frap you got going there. Oh, no, I'm telling you, it's great. I opened up all the windows. The air is cold. The tub is boiling hot. It's like Sweden, man. Sweet. Mm. <laughs> Certainly, I'm glad that you could make it. <laughs> I like your organization, George. <laughs> We've been talking to a real friendly son of a bitch in the front office. <laughs> Wilhelm, I think his name is. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Mr. Wilhelm, yeah. He told us that George Costanz is going to be taking us bastards out on the town. <laughs> I said, that son of a bitch doesn't know what he's got in store for. <laughs> Finish your drink. Oh, yeah, oh, almost, almost. Well, let's get that bastard bring us another round, huh? <laughs> you a big drinker, George? Well, maybe not as much as this bastard. <laughs> I'm on my own. Jean-Paul, I asked you down here this morning because I'm concerned. Concerned that tomorrow is perhaps the biggest race of your entire career. And the person with whom you have chosen to stay is, uh... What are you saying? I'm saying get the hell out of there. <laughs> Let me put you in a hotel. You'll be comfortable. You'll be near the starting line. And most importantly, you'll have a wake-up call, Jean-Paul. A wake-up call. These people never fail. They sit in a room with a big clock all night long, just waiting to make that call. No, I will stay with Elaine. It would be rude. Hey, you bastards. <laughs> hey, so how was the meeting? You know, I really like those sons of bitches. Sons of bitches? Yeah, that's how they talk. You know, everyone's either a bastard or a son of a bitch. Yeah, it's like, uh, boy, that son of a bitch Boggs can really hit, eh? Really? <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's how they talk in the major league. Oh. Hey, hey, hey. How many sweaters you got? Oh, four. Yeah, could I have a cup of tea? Boiling. What's going on? I fell asleep in the hot tub and the heat pump broke. Water went down to 58 degrees. I can't get my core temperature back up. Your core temperature? Here, feel my hand. <laughs> 